Hi, I'm Holly Noonan from Knack Factory. Day four of Maine Startup and Create Week provided a considerable breadth of core sessions surrounding transportation, healthcare, the power of crowds, and product design. The Maine College of Art welcomed panelists from educational facilities like MIT and the University of New England among startup founders from across the country. The first of today's panels focused on the future of transportation in cities. Samantha Herr, founder of Portland Bike Share, explained the infrastructure of setting up a citywide bike share nonprofit. There's always that little bit of a chicken or an egg. Do you have to have um, the baseline infrastructure of uh, bike racks and bike lanes to facilitate a bike share, or does a bike share facilitate um, getting more of that infrastructure? And you see that bike share is really a positive force in helping to make the case for city expenditures and state expenditures to actually make more biking infrastructure. That's the case in Boston, for example, where um, you know they were already making bike lanes and we also have a great supportive city that is, with, with every plan, they're now thinking multimodally and they are wanting to incorporate this stuff. Uh, and so this would actually help to bring that forward. At a discussion focused on harnessing the power of crowds, Peter Glor of MIT discussed the difference between swarms and crowds and the way the internet continues to change the dynamics of crowds. When the web didn't exist, we had a much harder time to be collectively intelligent. And today, um, psychologists have shown that when I do not know what's the capital of Kazakhstan, I will go and look it up in Wikipedia and I will think that it's part of my brain. To put it in other words, I will think that I'm part of the web, that I'm part of the collective intelligence, that I'm part of all the uh, aggregated um, knowledge of humankind. Chad Leader, innovation specialist at L.L. Bean, shed light on the importance of internalizing processes around innovation to help keep a 100-year-old company relevant. The need for innovation at L.L. Bean was, was brought up just two, two and a half years ago. Uh, because we want to kind of create our own novel technologies. We want to do something that uh, would surprise the rest of the industry, that the industry could say, hey, you know, Ella Bean's doing something different than just bringing on third-party ingredient brands. And, uh, you know, we're looking at technology with uh, wearable electronics and, and other forms of performance materials that are going to, you know, again, keep us relevant for years to come. So the hope is a 100-year-old company could uh, be a mainstay for the next 100 years. At the lunch keynote session, Robin Canner, founder of My Trans Health, discussed her experience of transitioning in Maine and how poor trans healthcare led to the creation of her startup. I settled into a little nonprofit, and after a few months there, I just like needed to start hormones. So um, I saw a therapist who wrote a letter that said I was trans, as opposed to me just knowing I was trans, um, and then got access to hormones, um, and then socially transitioned. Well, transitioned with out socially transitioning for about nine months, so I was just on hormones kind of within this community. Um, it was kind of strange and odd for the most part, um, but eventually it got to the place where I really needed to just like head out of Maine. Be sure to find the event on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Flickr, and don't forget to use the hashtag MSCW2016. Join us here for more speaker interviews and updates. I'm Holly Nuna with Knack Factory, and we'll see you again soon.